Have you ever wanted to step back 3,000 years into the pages of the Bible? Now, visitors at a new site in Jerusalem can do just that. For the first time in modern history, this unique ancient site has been open to the public. Beginning today, people will be able to actually walk through first temple period remains, touch the stones, enjoy and study about yet another period of the archaeology of the city of Jerusalem. 3,000 years ago, stonemasons built these walls to protect the city of Jerusalem. Archaeological evidence indicates that the one who commissioned and oversaw this construction was King Solomon. The reality was that a very highly skilled fortification and a sophisticated fortification uh, was built by King Solomon. And this is only part of it. And it's very impressive. Mm. And, and you saw this wall, huge uh, stone and so on. And it continues. Archaeologist Elat Mazar uncovered the site called the Ophel, just below Jerusalem's Temple Mount, restored it, and told her story in the book, Discovering the Solomonic Wall in Jerusalem. Mazar believes the Bible refers to this area in the first book of Kings. It says, until he, King Solomon, had made an end of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Lots of it is really can be seen and can be touched. And we find lots of stuff that uh, really go directly into the biblical sources. Other tangible examples include this floor that Mazar believes was part of a royal building destroyed in 586 BC when the Babylonians conquered Jerusalem. The excavation also exposed the structure called the gatehouse that would have looked like this 3,000 years ago. Jerusalem Mayor Nair Bakat sees the site as not only a great piece of history, but as another way to share the magic of the old city. One of the best investments in the future is exposing our past. It enables people to come and see that it's real, come and visit, and go back home as ambassadors of peace. It shows that the Bible is real. It shows that two and three thousand years ago, Jerusalem was the center of the world. Archaeology deals with centuries and millennia, but the news still goes on. To find out what's happening in the Middle East and Israel now, here's our weekly news wrap-up.